here at Vead Guitars in Woodstock, New York. We're with Joe Vead. Joe, thanks so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. I feel like, like, essentially, I'm working with, with elements, that um, I feel like there's a kind of alchemy that happens when you make a, a, a guitar, an instrument, any instrument. Absolutely. And the reason any of us are tangentially or directly involved with making music is because there's a fascination with that creative process. Yes. So what I feel like I do when I try to come up with a fairly efficient, um, non-struggling kind of procedure that helps the that make helps make the instrument, I feel like in a way what I'm doing is more working with the material than fighting it, inflicting uh, trauma on it. Yes. You know, it's a subtle difference, but I feel like it makes a difference. And I feel like what, I, what we do here is we're trying to sort of manifest this beautiful stuff, which is really music, yes. through what we do. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it's part of what you're doing. Yes. You know, yes. You, you're, you're not talking about linoleum, you're talking yes. about guitars. That's right. And the thing is, once you really kind of appreciate that end process is sort of magical, then there's a certain uh, energy about the whole thing that transcends, like, manufacturing yes. or making a buck or making a video. Yes, right. And I feel like the closer I can get to sort of working with the wood and all of us here, yes. re releasing the instrument that's inherent in this wood that we're getting and these these materials, it's sort of respecting the material Isn't rather than rather than sort of trashing it. That's right. You know, I mean, a tree is beautiful, but so are these guitars. Do you feel it sometimes when you're at the end of a building process, especially on an instrument that you felt you've released in a, in a which you probably feel this way commonly, there's sometimes an attachment to that instrument. No, that's, no, you have no because it, because it's it. not going to do any. It's not an instrument unless it's getting played, and I can't play all these instruments. Neither can these guys. Correct. Release it to the so, world. So no, it's uh, and it's not even about seeing Dave Matthews playing it on stage. Yeah. It's just knowing that someone's going to be sitting at home. You know, I have a customer who'll call me up and say, you know, he was really depressed. You know, with his yeah. he's going through with his wife, and he picked up the guitar and. It helped him that way. And that it day. really helped him. He felt, he, it made him feel good. And, you know, it's really about, that. it's that. It's about energy, the energy yes. that, that's in music. Yeah. I wanted to know a little bit about you personally. Uh, what, what was it in your life w that brought you into music when you were a young man? And was it your father or someone in your family that introduced you to guitar playing? I basically just loved singing along with the radio and when I was a kid, and I never... I thought of myself as being a musician or making instruments. I always, I saw something in New York Magazine. It was a, there was a course being given at uh, the YWCA in Manhattan. The yes. seventh floor was a craft students league, and they had some very cool craft courses. And there was a course being given on guitar building, mm -hmm. how to build a, you know, a classical guitar mm -hmm. with like ten hand tools, and it was being taught by Michael Gurian who, I don't know if you know who he is, but he's very famous um, he, as a consultant for Gibson and Fender I production. See. And yeah. he had his own guitars, Gurian guitars, are, they're legendary. He, at the time, he was selling guitars to John Sebastian and Paul Simon yeah. and uh, lots of people. Anyway, he was selling his nylon string guitars for about $4,000. This was like in 68, so it's like $50,000 now. Wow. Anyway, um, I took the course and I just got really turned on. Yeah. Uh, I'd have been told from by another friend that I could not hold a tune and I couldn't sing, um, <laughs> which I took as true. And um, I, I think out of sheer frustration, I decided I really felt like making guitars. So yeah. uh, I quit my job, started making guitars, making acoustic guitars. And um, kind of the rest is history from that point. It sounds. Yeah. Like